Welcome to the Stone and Star Art Studio. Today we are doing the third piece in our series called Little Darlings. This one is basically Cinderella and is one of my favorite princesses. So grab a piece of paper, pencil, pen, maybe some watercolors, and let's get started. So just like our last two princesses, the first thing we want to do is sketch out her head. So these characters are looking kind of like chibis in anime where they have large heads and little bodies and it makes them look super cute. So here's the gesture line we're going to use and just like the other princesses, her arms are going to be gracefully flowing from her body and she's going to have a large ball gown. So for her torso, I like to do a soft V shape going from her shoulders to her waist, which will then blossom out into this big, beautiful ball gown. Let's add in some details of the ball gown. We have the two pieces of cloth on the left and right, and then I like to add some lines down the center to kind of show the flowing movement of the gown. In her left hand, I'm going to draw a little glass slipper, like she just picked it up or she's about to try it on. we'll do some happy little eyes with beautiful eyelashes. Nothing too complicated. For her hair, we're going to make her bangs a little more realistic, so we'll act like she has more traditional bangs. Next, we can't forget her signature black headband. Next, let's give her face a little better shape, so we'll give her a little bit of a chin, and then, unlike the original movie, we'll add in an ear. Then, on the top of her head, we'll add in that big, beautiful bun. We can't forget her feet. So her right foot is going to be barefoot and her left foot will have a matching heel. Then far in the distance is the tall, elegant towers of the castle. So in this movie, the castle is very thin and tall and very French. So we'll kind of draw it in that style. Next, let's go back and ink our work. So as always, whenever I'm drawing people, I like to start out with whatever hair touches the sides or the top of the face. Basically anything that would overlap the face.
When everything's dry, let's erase all of our pencil work and get ready for watercolor. Because her dress in the movie is this soft, pure silver color, we're going to start out with a soft pink for her dress and kind of work our way darker as if the sun is on the top right of the paper. Just like the Beast's castle and Rapunzel's tower, our castle is going to have a soft blue-black shadow to it, like it's far away in the distance. And we can't forget her perfect pink little cheeks. Okay, here's our final product. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you made a beautiful piece of artwork. If you did, make sure to tag me on Instagram at Art by Isla. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little darling series and stay tuned, you never know, maybe we'll do some more princesses later. But follow me on Instagram and like and subscribe if you wanna see what our next series will be. Thanks for watching.